Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. Paladin Piper. This month, you're getting a bonus tea pairing. Why? Because I was going to have another cup of tea, and... Oh, my lapel mic to fall here. I saw that I had another tube of tea that I hadn't reviewed yet, so I thought, why not do a second one this month? It's my channel, I can do that. And that is, as you guys saw, Earl Grayer Vanilla. From the Republic of Tea. Now, I'm going out on a whim. This is the Medico Medalist. Look at that carving there. You got one leaf. For your first finger, you got another leaf for your thumb. And uh, in it is Father Dempsey. Mine went blank. So I'm going out on a limb trying Father Dempsey uh, with a tea I've never tried before. Man, I love the incense note of Father Dempsey. It is just amazing. If you guys have not tried Father Dempsey, it is a wonderful English blend. So... The note of the tea, and I will show you that in just a second, I want to get this Father Dempsey lit, is very vanilla, and you can smell the bergamot in it. And as usual, I have not put any sweetener in this, but that may change at the halfway mark. Man, I mean, it smells really sweet. So far, the only tea that I really enjoy, straight up, no chaser, no nothing, is uh, uh, Licorice Spice, which was uh, got me turned on to it, was uh, Michigan Piper. Oh, no, that's interesting. Got it in the Codger mug tonight. So first sip there was actually a little bit of orange. It was kind of nice um, with some vanilla in the background, almost like a reminiscent of a not-so-sweet creamsicle. Interesting. I'll tell you all a funny story here while this heats up. Not so funny when it happened. So a little while back, came out here, enjoy a pipe of Sir Walter Raleigh. Smoked my pipe, relaxed. It was great. Well, immediately, well, during and then immediately after, my lip swelled up really bad. Old Paladin had a fat lip. Look at someone hit me. So I'm freaking out that Sir Walter Raleigh isn't agreeing with me anymore. Of course, those of you that know, and a few of you know, were already jeering me and chiding me to get, uh, they were like, oh, I'll take your Sir Walter Raleigh. Especially if you got a bur burly allergy. Very nice. It's like a non-sweet orange dreamsicle. <laughs> Come to find out, I had been eating a lot of shrimp uh, over the last really two weeks during that time. I got a lot of shrimp. And I'd had shrimp that night for dinner. Yeah, I was developing a small shellfish allergy. So needless to say, I will not be eating shrimp anytime soon. All right. Well, 
I'm going to let this heat up and let that cool down and we'll get into the uh, first half of both and we'll come back to you very soon. Hang with me. Man, I love Father Dempsey. Hmm. Oh, we're back. <laughs> hey guys. So, what about, eh, starting the half, halfway point of Father Dempsey. And we're down to the halfway point of Earl Grayer Vanilla. So, I actually like this combo. It's a combo pairing that I don't normally gravitate to, but it works. So, if you guys have never had Father Dempsey, almost every initial light of Father Dempsey gives you this sweet incense, um, earthy character, creosote, rich, kind of hearty, excuse me, uh, character. And then as the bowl progresses, you'll get a little bit of that sour from the Orientals and some sweetness from the Virginia. Um, sometimes a little bit of hay notes or kind of bready notes. And the tea is this, again, a kind of an orange dreamsicle kind of thing. And what I went ahead and did, yeah, I did it. I added a sweet and low to it. Yeah, I did. And it's even better. I mean, it's like now, it's like a liquid dreamsicle. But it works. It, it just works. It's, a, it's an antithesis pairing. You know, it's, it's meat and potatoes and something sweet, you know. And um, it, it works. So um, I will give a couple of other thoughts, though. The tea is very good. Stays the same profile all the way, well, at least down to the half here. Try not to let my Father Dempsey go out, but might happen. Not for the tamp. However, there were times when I got more of the, the citrus versus an orange character, kind of like a citron. Um, and when I got those notes, it wasn't very much. It's pretty much orange and vanilla to me. But um, when I did get the citron type notes, um, I couldn't help but think Orlick Golden Sliced. I mean, it did. It just popped in my head. Um, another one that I think would work pretty well with this would be Marlin Flake. Old Gowrie would do well, too. I think if you were to do a Burley, which I love Burley, Hmm. You know, I'm going to say this, and I'm only saying this because I have had it recently, uh, I can remember it very well, probably because of the company I was with. When I visited Mr. Mudge, uh, I got to try the, the Dominican Republic Carter Hall, uh, and that Carter Hall was that Cavendish Burley, a little bit of that chocolate bourbon topping, I think would go well with this. I do. Um, I think Prince Albert's too cocoa. Velvet and Sir Walter, I think the licorice would throw it up. Sir Walter would probably be good with it. But again, Sir Walter works with everything. Um, model, mm, model might be okay in a pinch. Uh, Boswell's Premium Burley might be okay in a pinch. Uh, Maybe 1931 might be might be decent in this for a Burley. I know it's Burley, Virginia, but um, Burley, uh, 1931 is from Eric Stokelby. Uh, you guys can check out my, my review on that. Um, trying to think, you know what? Old School by Boswell. That might be pretty good. Uh, yeah, I would say Old School would be good. So anyway, I give this tea a B+. I like it.
Um, it is very good, and it pairs well with English. Now, if you want, if you didn't like Father Dempsey, and you wanted a different English, um, I think the Merry Monk will do fine with this. I think any of your um, like nor'easters, uh, Ahab's Comfort, Church Warden, I think would be fine. Um, Any of the crossovers, I think, would be okay. Um, you know, your Danny Kays, Cary Grants, and Edward G's, I think, would all be fine. It's pretty good. So, uh, all right. With that, we're done. We're out of here. I'm going to finish this and finish this. And you guys have a wonderful night. We'll see you again very soon on a Paladin Piper video. Take care.